Hi there, everybody. I am back today with a comparison video, this time between um, two submarines. So this will be a comparison video, kind of like what I did with the yellow submarines. But anyways, um, these two submarines, I got both of them at the Submarine Museum, which was in Connecticut. And um, this, one's, this one's the wind-up one, and it's big. And then this one's the, the um, diving sub, so it's small, which I actually have the box, so I'm going to grab it off to the side. This is what the box looks like. It gives you instructions on how to do it. But anyways, let's talk about these two. So these two have the exact same detailing, like right here and here. And I think on the sides too, on this part too. They have kind of the same, um, the same periscope radiator. They're kind of the same design, but this one's gray. This one's... Dark gray with um, some blue on it. And this one has the number 801 on it. And it says auto submarine. This one doesn't have any words on it. And then this one actually has a propeller. And it has a little thing to wind up. Which I'm not going to wind it up. Because I showed you. I showed, I did a little demo of this in the um, collection video. So at the bottom this one has these little holes right there. For the water to get in. And it has this wind up thing. Which it has. Two of these things that go up and down the propeller. And then on the bottom of this, it has like a hole in it. And some nice flat detailing. So they're pretty much the same bags, but... This one's periscope. This one, this one you can remove the periscope for when you fill up water and baking powder in it. This one, you can't. It just stays on there. And then, and then this is the inside of it. Oops. Sorry that I'm moving my camera a little bit. Here we go. I just had to fix it. But anyways, um, this is the inside of the submarine, which you can fill it up with water and baking powder, like I said. And I thought this came with a repeller, but it actually didn't. Sorry if my camera's not focusing. This one has a propeller on the back, just like that one. But this one's actually bigger than this one. This one, you wind up this one that actually floats underwater. Which, which in a couple of days or so, I will do a demonstration video on these two submarines where I'll have, we'll have, we'll have something full of water and I will put both of them in there and I will show you how, for the people who don't know how to do this, how to do it. So yeah. Except this submarine can actually stand on its own. This one has a hard time standing because it's got a wind up thing on it. So you have to like put this thing kind of firm into the carpet. Which is going to take me a few tries, though. I did it perfectly in the beginning of the video. Like, before I recorded this, I did this perfectly. Okay, um... Uh... There we go. Okay, now it's standing still. It's hard to set it in place because of the lineup thing. That one's easier to set in place than the one I'm pointing to. Oops, sorry. I just, uh... My camera's just moving a little bit because I was putting my stuff down. But, uh, yeah. Overall, these two are good submarines, and... And they're a good addition to my collection. My other two submarines are yellow submarines, which are Beatles ones. Those two are just regular generic submarines. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.